Hello everyone, my name is Lacey. I am an independent Scentsy consultant and today I have some Scentsy empties and a couple half empties to share with you. These are scents that I've melted in the last few weeks, two or three weeks. I forget how long it's been, but my basket is full, so I decided to do this video now. Um, I do have a couple things that aren't wax, so I'll talk about those first. The first thing I have here is an Eskimo Kiss Scentsy Pod Twin Pack. This is now Polar Bear Hugs. I'm not sure if this one is currently available. I'll put it here on the screen because I don't remember. I just put this in my Scentsy Go to use in the car, so I can't really say much about it yet because I... I just emptied this into my son's ego. But I do love Polar Bear Hugs. It's a really unique kind of scent. It has like blackberry and brown sugar, but it's very, it's not bakery. It's kind of body care. I don't know exactly. It's, it's a very unique scent. So I'm not sure exactly what I would classify it as, but it's a really nice scent. We'll see how it does in the pods. I've had those for a little while, obviously. The next thing here is a Black Forest Pine scent circle. We just got a new to us car today and I chose to put a Black Forest Pine scent circle in there. So that's the first scent that we have going in there. I put it in and I haven't been back in the car so tomorrow we'll see how strong it's going. I've used the Black Forest Pine scent circles before and they've worked pretty nicely for me. It's one of my favorite scents from Scentsy so hopefully tomorrow when I open the door it'll just be Black Forest Pine in my face. <laughs> okay let's talk about the two that I melted but didn't finish. The first one here is Simply Patchouli. This was from the January Bring Back My Bar collection. I swear, Jonathan always knows as soon as I start a video, he will start making as much noise as possible. Ugh, this is so nice. And I like it better on warm than I do on cold. It's a little bit overwhelming when you smell it in the clamshell, but on warm, it's so like grounding and relaxing and earthy and nice, and it's not super overpowering. I actually um, did alternating warmers of this with something, so I'll hold on to this to talk about with that. But just in general, this is a really nice scent and it was more of a medium on warm than a strong. I was expecting this to be super strong. That's why I only did three cubes of this one. But I think that was just the right amount for the blend that I did. I have this in my club. I, I still need to edit my clubs but I do have this in there and I think it'll stay because it's 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 just really nice. I love patchouli. And I'll just set that there so we can talk about it then. And then the other one that I melted but didn't finish is Toasted Caramel Sugar from the Bring Back My Bar from January. This one, I did five cubes in my kitchen. So I did two in each of the ball warmers and then one in the tea light warmer actually. And I don't often melt Scentsy in the tea light warmer but so many people were saying that this was so light and I just really wanted to get a good sense of the smell so I threw a cube in the tea light warmer I don't know that that was necessary I love this scent it is a lighter medium I could definitely smell it when I walked into the kitchen for sure just so good it's like this warm toasted vanilla to me I mean I know it's caramel but uh, it's almost like a waffle cone scent to me I really like this I think I'm gonna keep it in my club I'm hoping this 
get stronger over time. Not that, I mean, it was fine in the kitchen, but I like the scent so much that I want it to like smack me in the face and it wasn't quite there. So we'll see. But I think I'm going to keep it in my club for now. Maybe I'll melt the rest of this soon and make a final decision. But yeah, toasted caramel sugar, such a good scent. Uh, my mom thinks it smells like burnt toast, so I don't, <laughs> I don't think it's for everyone. But I really like that one. Okay, then let's get into the empties. And since I was talking about those Bring Back My Bars, let's just continue to talk about bring back my bars I guess. I melted a lot over the last couple of weeks because I wanted to see what I want to keep in my club. The first one here is Lana Sara and this was really pretty. I don't think I need to keep this in my club. It just wasn't, it didn't stand out enough for me. This has, yeah this is Honeysuckle um, there's some patchouli in here, but really it's kind of like a powdery honeysuckle scent, which I like. It's really pretty, but it was very light. I could definitely smell it. I did it in the bedrooms and bathrooms, but I just, I didn't love it enough to keep it in my club. So that one's going to come out if I didn't already take it out. The next one here is cranberry mango. Um, this one's not for me. It's a nice scent. I think this is cranberry, mango, and spiced pineapple. Is that what it is? It is nice. I liked it more than I thought I would when I melted it. But it wasn't anything special for me. I'm not a huge fruity, like just straight fruity lover. I do like cranberry. Um, I like mango sometimes. I don't typically like pineapple. I was hoping that spicy note would help it for me, but it didn't really. It was just a fruity concoction. So yeah, I don't, I don't know if I put that one in my club. If I did, it's going to come out. All right. The next one is Awakening. This one I did really like. I forget what's in here. Hmm. <laughs> now that I'm smelling it, it's been a little bit since I smelled it. Now I'm like, maybe I do need this in my club. I don't think I do, but it does smell really good. I think there's a citrus in here. It is kind of like refreshing, rejuvenating. I really like it. It reminds me of um, my grandma's husband, like after he would get ready in the morning and whatever products he was using, it kind of smells like the bathroom after he would be done getting ready. So it has like a nostalgic thing for me, but it is like a really good bathroom scent. But do I need a bathroom scent in my club? Probably not. It's kind of herbal. I don't know. I do really like it. I don't think, I don't think I'm going to keep it in my club though. It was a decent performer, like a medium strength. Um, and I did really like it. <laughs> I don't think I need it. Okay. Uh, the next one here is Buzz Lightyear to infinity and beyond. This one, this one also is kind of nostalgic for me. I remember when it first came out and I melted it in my boys' room, so that's what I always think of. And then when I had um, my husband and my daughter were smelling through the Bring Back My Bars when they came in and my daughter said this smelled like the boys' room when it's clean. <laughs> so that is what it smells like. Um, this I think this has like plum and maybe like a floral note, maybe even a currant. 
as well as the plum, but it comes across kind of grapey to me, but clean. It's almost like a clean grape laundry scent. And I do really like it in the boys' room, so I might might keep this one in for a little bit. It's a good performer. It was really strong in the bedrooms and bathrooms. It lasted all day. It lasted into the next day for me. Um, I don't know. It's really unique. I feel like we don't really have anything that smells like this, so I kind of want to hold on to it in my club. I should have, I should have grabbed some before it went away, but it's fine. Okay. Then we have Strawberry Sweetie. This one I also did in the bedrooms and bathrooms. Very strong. And this smells exactly like Swedish Fish to me. Again, it's kind of nostalgic. It kind of reminds me of my grandpa at um, like going to basketball games with my grandpa when I was a kid. I did really like this actually, which is not, it's not my norm. It's definitely a candied sweet strawberry. But it really smells like Swedish fish to me and I actually really liked it. So I may keep this one in my club for a little bit. We'll see. Twilight. Twilight, I put this in yesterday, which was Valentine's Day. I put it in the bedrooms and bathrooms, and it's still going now. Today is the day after Valentine's Day, and it's like, I don't know, it's late. What time is it? It's after 11 o'clock at night, and it's still going. So this is a very good performer, long-lasting, and I really like it. It's going to stay in my club. This is like... I forget what the notes are. It's like ocean air and romantic florals or something like that. Um, this smells like floral bubble bath to me. It still reminds me of like a fancy 90s bubble bath. Ugh. I don't know why it reminds me so much of the 90s, but I, yeah, really like this one such a good performer i love the label on this one and that's gonna stay in my club and we have peony petals i love this scent um but i don't think i need it in my club it's a really pretty really nice floral also this is a scent that i melted early on like when i first got into scentsy so again, there's a nostalgia factor. I don't know why everything's so nostalgic right now, but really pretty. I am a floral lover, but I don't think I need this one. It's not like super like unique to me. It is a really good floral, very pretty. It is on the lighter end, but oh, so pretty, but I don't need, I don't need more of it in my club. Um, if it were to show up in a flash sale or to ever come back again, I'd grab another bar of it, but I don't need a ton of it. I have florals that I love more than that one. Then I did lots of lavender also in the bedrooms and bathrooms. This one is just lavender and chamomile. It's so pretty. This one, I, let me know if anyone else got this, but on warm, it almost gave me like pink sugar vibes it really kind of smelled like pink sugar for some reason when it was melting it's really pretty it was very light i don't think i need more of it really nice scent though frosted ginger cookie i really like this one Ugh, yum it does so i First and foremost, I get the ginger and it's like a fresh, it's, it's what it says. This smells like ginger cookies that, well, I used to get at Lidl, but apparently they don't have them anymore. Everybody got rid of the ginger. I used to get ginger, triple ginger muffins at Trader Joe's. They didn't have them. Like, I don't think they have them anymore, at least at the Trader Joe's closest to us. And then I was going to get some ginger cookies at Lidl and they didn't have a spot for them anymore. So I guess they're not going to have them anymore. 
Um, but that's what this reminds me of. It does have kind of an underlying Fruit Loops kind of note. <laughs> But this was very strong and I got so much of that ginger on warm. I think I'm going to keep this in my club for a little bit at least. It's really nice. I, I love that like fresh ginger rather than like a gingerbread. Bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. I didn't like this one. But, oh, It smells like that burnt hair coconut that I don't like. Yeah, and that's mostly what I get. I don't even get much banana. I do like banana, but I, I, I don't get a ton of it in here. <laughs> I think that's just me, though. Like I said, I don't like whatever else I'm picking up is so strong because I don't like it. Um, so, yeah, that one isn't going to stay in my club. And then the last Bring Back My Bar here is Twitter Painted. This one was really nice. It is really nice. It was very strong. Lasted all day. It lasted into the next day. It's really pretty. I think this has like, there's like a dewy note and some lemon, but it's very like clean and green and refreshing. There is like a slight aquatic tone here. Really pretty. I. I need to really crack down on the licensed bars in my club. Like, ugh, I need to crack down on my club in general. But the license, I mean, the more I think about it, I'm upset that the price of the licensed bars is going up because they're already more than the regular bars. It's not going to stop me from buying them. <laughs> And if I really love the scent, it's not going to stop me from clubbing it. But I want to make sure that I really love the scent if I'm keeping a license bar in my club, which I should be doing with all the scents anyway. But I do really like this one. Yeah, I like it a lot. I liked it a lot when it was melting. We'll see. This is coming back in the Easter collection. There's a whole, like, Bambi situation going on with the Easter collection, which I think is really cute. I would love to get the buddies. I don't know if I'm going to, but I think they're adorable. So yeah, that's all the bring back my bars that I got through in the last couple weeks. So I could kind of decide. I think I have, I think I only have one left to melt and that's everything nice. Maybe I'll melt that tomorrow so I can just be done and get my club ended. <laughs> the list of the July 2024 Bring Back My Bars was released today. I, I'm Everyone is posting it all over YouTube, so let me know what your thoughts on that are. Let me know what your thoughts on that are. I am kind of excited for it. It's a very summery, lots of fruity, sweet kind of scents, which typically aren't my favorites but there are some on there that i'm very excited about uh sea sun and fun um farmer's market surfer chick happy that came back for amber and i i think i like surfer chick i've had it before i can't remember exactly what i thought about it but i'm excited to try it again um i can't really remember what else was on there oh dark harbor is coming back shaka um, was it, is Highway Run? Mm, I forget. There's a, is it Highway Run? I don't know. I'm, there's, there's a few that I'm really excited about. And then even like the fruity ones, I'm kind of happy to see come back, especially for summer. And there are a handful on there, a handful. There's a few on there that I've never tried before, so I'm excited about that. Blackberry Meringue is on there again. Like, I just feel like that scent is always coming around. <laughs> it's a good scent. It is a good scent. It's a very light scent. And I'm just surprised that it comes back so often. Or maybe it hasn't been back 
super often. I don't know. I just know that one has been around in the last few years. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on the July 2024 Bring Back My Bar. Okay, let's move on to... Um, I have some licensed bars here, so we'll just go through those. I melted a bar of Jack's Obsession because I, I'm trying to see if I like Jack's Obsession or Toasted Apple Butter better. I definitely like Jack's Obsession better. Yeah, there's just, there's just something about this set. I don't know what it is. This is just like green apple and cinnamon, but I also get this woodsy note, almost like a cedar that's not in the notes, but I definitely get it. I haven't seen anyone else say that, so I don't think anybody else gets it, but there is a woodsy tone to this for me. Ugh, it's so good. I actually, after I melted it, I was like, maybe I could get rid of it. But now I'm smelling it. I'm like, no. Jack has to stay. Oh, I hope Jack's in my club. Man, I hope I stuck him in there. When he came back in the brick, I can't remember. Oh. Anyway, if not, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, it's so good. This is an addictive scent to my nose. But this is the one that I did alternating warmers with Simply Patchouli. And it was really, really nice. I obviously used the whole clam of Jack's Obsession. So I did... I'm trying to think of how I did this. I must have done two cubes per warmer of Jack. The Scentsy Cinnamon burns my nose every time I smell something with cinnamon in it. Um, and then just one cube in three of the warmers. I have eight warmers total. So usually I can just do one cube in each warmer and get through a Sunsy bar, living room, dining room, entryway. So yeah, I must have done, I don't know how I did that because that would be four warmers plus three seven. <laughs> I don't know how I did it. Somehow or another, I did um, alternating warmers, Simply Patchouli and Tag's Obsession, and it was really nice. I This is just the bar to add a beautiful earthiness to anything, and I really like these together, so they'll probably both stay at my club if Jack is at my club. I hope yes. Okay, the next one here is Violet's Turning Violet. So this one on cold is so gross. Oh, what? What is that? It is almost like chewable vitamins or something. It does kind of smell like a, like when you open a bottle of Flintstones. Yeah. I definitely get that like vitamin smell. What does this have? Does it, it has like blueberry and there's a cherry in here. I think, I don't know what else. Um, not good on cold, but on warm, it was actually pretty nice. Um, I didn't mind it. I actually kind of liked it. It was really strong. <sighs> it changes on warm and I can't even really explain what it smelled like. It's a pretty unique scent, and I, I did like it on warm. I don't think I stuck this in my club, and I don't think it's available anymore. And I don't think I would get any more if it did come back. But I enjoyed it. Uh, very strong, like I said. I'm just kind of disappointed that... I mean, I get what they were doing with this scent, but I would have liked to see... A violet note in here I might be the only one but I would have definitely liked to see a floral violet note like even with the fruity like with a blueberry with a cherry that's that was the biggest disappointment for me I wish this had a violet note in it it's 
fine. I really want like a violet candy. Like, that's what I want. <laughs> that's not what this is. Okay. And the next one here is Mandalorian Air of Adventure. Um, it's been a little while since I've melted this one. And man, is it good. It's so good. I actually melted this on my son's birthday. He just turned nine last week. And I gave him a choice between a few different scents to melt on his birthday. And he picked this one. And it was nice. It was super strong. Lasted all day. It's pretty. This has some mint. But it's not like overly minty. It's more like a... Like a mint leaf. Not like a peppermint candy or anything. Not spearmint. It's really nice. A little earthy. A little herbal. I like it a lot. I don't think I stuck this one on my club. Hopefully this one comes back. I feel like it comes back pretty often. Like maybe for May the 4th it'll come back. Because this was the only bar that I had and yeah I really liked it I forgot how much I like that scent because like I said it had been a while since I melted it okay the next one here is from the Harry Potter collection Slytherin this is cunning and ambition Slytherin cunning and ambition is that what the whole title is this is nice. I was I melted this to decide if I needed to keep it in my club. I don't think I do. I think I'll just grab it if it comes back. Um, it's like a tree scent. I don't know if it's a balsam. Maybe, but I think there's a blackberry in here too. It's really nice. But I think I just, I think I'm good with black forest pine. In my club and then yeah like I said I'll just purchase this one if it comes back again it was like a medium performer I like it I don't think I love it but I am a Slytherin and I like it enough <laughs> that I would repurchase it if it came back I have one I think only one bar here that is a scent that's currently available and that is eucalyptus wreath is this I think this one goes away at the end of the month and if it does it's going in my club because I'm in love with this scent I think this is a bestseller but I don't care I don't trust it it will go in my club oh so good it is just fresh clean eucalyptus man teetering on cologne but not really just really fresh I just this is such a nice scent through the whole house it's just very like welcoming I feel like maybe everyone wouldn't feel that way about eucalyptus but I just feel like it's so homey and welcoming and yeah one of my favorites eucalyptus wreath Super strong performer, really nice, highly recommend that one. Okay, then I have just some random not available scents. Um, spiced Berries, this was in a Bring My Wife bar last year, I think. Love this one, it's frankincense and myrrh and berries. Ugh, ah, there's some spice in here too. Yeah, really good. Kind of resinous and dry and spicy and oh, it's almost mouth-watering yeah that's in my club that'll stay in my club I love that one really good performer for me like long-lasting more I would say a medium high but long-lasting and that's another set that I could just melt through the whole house and just feel so cozy <laughs> uh peppermint dreams from a previous bring by my bar i think i grabbed this in a flash sale i like this one 
it's not my favorite I prefer um, what is the mint cocoa what is that one why can't I think of it I don't know the minty hot cocoa one for some reason I can't think marshmallow mint cocoa I don't know. It's marshmallow and mint and cocoa. I can't remember how the name is organized, but I prefer that one. Marshmallow, mint, cocoa. I don't know. You guys probably know which one I'm talking about. I prefer that one to this one. This is like a York um, peppermint patty. I don't know what they're called. York peppermint patty. Yeah. <laughs> That's what this smells like. And I like it, but on warm, the mint changes a little bit and it kind of smells like the sometimes mint, especially from Scentsy, can smell like a bathroom cleaner to me. Like it must be a specific bathroom that I've been in. On cold, I, I love this one, but it definitely on warm changes for me. So I think I have one more bar in my collection. I would probably pick this up again if it showed up in a flash sale, but it's not my preferred like chocolate mint scent. This one is Bloomin' Beach. I This is still going. I put this in yesterday on Valentine's Day in the living room, dining room entryway while I had Twilight going upstairs. This is beautiful. Love the scent. It did give me a headache. It, I think I had a headache coming on to begin with and then I put this in and it really, it got worse. The scent is beautiful, but I, yeah, it does, even just smelling it now, I can feel it like behind my eyes. <laughs> it's so pretty though. I, I'm a floral girly somehow I don't know how that happened but this is rose peony jasmine the jasmine in here is really nice I would even say that I liked this better today on the second day I the jasmine was just so nice it was almost herbal I don't know if anyone else gets that from jasmine sometimes sometimes jasmine is kind of herbal for me so pretty and I would probably grab, I'd probably grab this again if I saw it in a flash sale. Maybe I would do like alternating warmers with something to try to just mellow it out a little bit so I don't get a headache. It's nice, but I do have heirloom rose, which I really love. It doesn't give me a headache. I'm kind of upset though because I didn't when this one was available I didn't even order it because first of all I didn't like floral then and second of all I was like heavy into vendor wax at that point so I wasn't ordering all of the Scentsy collections like the limited time offers so I'm kind of sad that I missed out on like clubbing this one but knowing that it gives me a headache I don't need it in my club anyway okay I don't know why I'm rambling. World Traveler. Ooh, this is still a scent of the month clam from years ago. Wow. I think I have another one in my collection. This is really nice. I love World Traveler. Strong, long lasting. Look how gross that clam is. Oh, it's so nice. I don't remember what's in here. There might be like a bergamot a blackberry what else maybe a woodsy note oh it's so nice it is kind of cologne -y. man it's good though um oh i oh all of these were melted based on the prompts from patricia gates melting challenge I'm not gonna go back through and say what each one was, but this one I remember I melted this on Super Bowl Sunday um, because we were supposed to melt a scent that reminded us of Las Vegas or 
football and I went the Taylor Swift route. <laughs> and since she was traveling all over the place that weekend, I went with World Traveler out here. Mm, it's so nice. But yeah, that's why I'm out to that one. Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, casting spells. I think there was a day to melt a scent that you like used to like and then you fell out of love with. I forget how it was worded exactly, but casting spells I really liked when it first came out. And now it's like oh. <laughs> it's so much. It's still nice. It is a nice scent. It's like a caramel green apple. It's very heavy, sticky, sweet caramel apple. And it is nice but it's just a bit much. Um, I did really love this when it came out. There might be, I almost get a pear in here. I don't know if there's pear in here, but I almost get a pear in here. Um, but yeah, used to love it, don't love it anymore. I think this was my last clam. That's a super strong performer, but like so, <laughs> so sweet. Okay, let's talk about, I melted the scents from the Valentine's Day collection. I really like this collection. I think it was really good. Um, the first one is Simply the Zest. I like this scent. I really do. But it was pretty light. I melted all of these in the bedrooms and bathroom. No, that's a lie. One of them I melted down here. Um, but this one I melted in the bedrooms and bathrooms. And it's nice. You definitely get the citrus. Again, there's almost something herbal in here. I don't know. I don't know. Really like the scent. It wasn't... No. All right. Well, I really like the scent, but it wasn't the best performer. It wasn't super strong. It didn't last long. I didn't expect it to because it is a citrus scent. I don't think I need more of that one. I do really like the scent though. And the next one is I Pick You. Such a cute label. This was really nice too. This one it reminds me of pink leather. It has the same musky note. I also get this musky note in Woodland Suede. Yeah, I think this has some amber in it. It's really pretty. It was strong. It was long lasting for sure. This one lasted for a few days in the bedrooms and bathrooms. I like it. I don't know if I'm going to get more of it. I think it is a really good scent, really good performer, but I don't think I'm like in love with the scent itself. So... I don't think I'm going to get more of it. Yeah, it's like floral, musky, but it's a kind of a dark, a darker, more sultry kind of floral. Really pretty, good performer, but I think I'm, I think I'm good with it. My favorite from the collection was perfectly cute surprisingly I don't always love pear I really thought that I pick you was going to be my favorite but perfectly cute was so good I melted it down here in the living room dining room entryway and this lasted for two full days and was so strong it's so pretty I think this one It's gonna, it's gonna be in my club. I really like it. Like I said, I don't love pear scent, but this is good. This is like pear vanilla body care. I know a lot of people were saying that this um, was similar to, oh, what was that scent from Bring Back My Bar? Whipped whipped vanilla pear. I forget what it was called. 
I don't, I didn't love that scent. I didn't even pick it up in the Bring By My Bar because I've had it in the past and I didn't really like the pear in it. I love the pear in here. This one's so pretty. It's just really pretty. Mm, like a floral pear vanilla body hair. I really like it. I do think that one is a club scent for me. Very surprised by that, but I loved it. Okay, then I have some Mardi Gras scents. The first one is Midnight Masquerade. I did this. I don't remember where I did this probably down here but I, I do really like the scent on war or on cold I there's something that's a little mm, that kind of smells like perm solution but on warm I really like this this has like beignets um, I think there's a lily in here And what else? Powdered sugar, maybe? Oh, it's really nice. It's a, it's a, like, sultry, warm floral. I am kind of torn about this one because I do really like it. It performed well. Do I love it? I don't know. It is really nice. I might have to keep that one in my club for a little bit. And it's kind of unique for Scentsy. I don't think we get scents like that often from Scentsy, so. Okay, Creme de Menthe. I really like this one, too. This was a good performer. Why did the color get so weird on the screen? Mm, this is good. This one, a lot of people are saying they get chocolate from this. I don't get chocolate at all from this. Mm -mm. I get like a really creamy mint, like almost like the white Tic Tacs. Yeah, this is like white Tic Tac to me. I don't get chocolate from this at all. It's a very like cool, refreshing mint, but there's a creaminess to it. This was really good. I have mint fields in my club. They're very different. Mint fields is much more of a like green mint leaf, like your mint plant growing in your garden. This is not that. There is like a, I feel like this has a couple different mints going on. Because I almost do get that mint leaf, but there's something, there's a different kind of mint that's like in the forefront. It's really nice. I, this one, I don't know. Do I need this and mint fields? They're very different mints, but do I need two mints in my club? I don't know. I don't know. This one's so good. <laughs> we will see. Okay, and then the last one from the Mardi Gras collection is Confetti Showers. This one, this one's pretty nice too. I forget what else in here. Is there a current in here? I don't know. This one's kind of unique. I feel like the Mardi Gras collection was really good. The only one I didn't, I mean, these three right here are probably, how many were in there? Five? Yeah, so I didn't like King Cake. I can't remember if there were, I think there were five. And then the other one is Street Parade, and I don't think I'm going to like that one, because I think that has pineapple. This one's really pretty though. I feel like I get current. This one was one day and done. So 
there's citrus in here. I don't know. This one's really nice too. I don't know if I need more of it though. Ugh, it's so hard to decide. It's so hard to decide. Um, I don't think I'll get more of it, but I did really like it. It's really pretty. Mm. It kind of reminds me of something. Is it Citrus Garden or Aloha Citrus? It reminds me of one of the citrus, like really citrusy scents. Um, but I feel like I get currants in there. Anyway, I really like that. I don't think I need more of that one though. I think the two that I will debate keeping in my club are Creme de Menthe and Midnight Masquerade. All right, and the very last scent that I have here is Strawberry Bliss from the Easter Collection. I think the Easter Collection drops on Monday the 26th. This one. This was nice. I It was okay. I didn't love it. I was most excited about this one from the Easter Collection because it's strawberry and it has some jasmine in it. I forget what else is in here, but definitely strawberry and jasmine. And I was hoping for like coastal strawberry vibes. It's not bad. It's just, I don't know what it is. I don't know. It smells pretty good in the clam right now, but I remember when it was melting, I was like, yeah, I don't need more of this. It's like slightly chapsticky to me. I don't know. It's like a sweet strawberry with some jasmine. Yeah, it's not a bad scent at all. It's a pretty nice scent, but I don't think I love it. It was like a medium performer strength wise. I don't know that that one lasted all day. I don't remember it lasting all day. So yeah, I don't think I need more of that one. I am excited to melt the other scents from the Easter collection though, so we'll see how that goes. Anyway, that is everything from Scentsy that I've gotten through in the last few weeks. Let me know if you have melted any of these recently. What scents are you excited about in the upcoming June? Is it June or July? I'm so tired. <laughs> In the summer, bring back my bar collection. What scents are you looking forward to? Are you liking the Easter scents? What are your thoughts on the Valentine scents? Just, I just want to talk to you guys in the comments <laughs> below. So anyway, I still need to do my vendor and I'm like falling asleep kind of. <laughs> so tired. I'm going to try to get my vendor done and then I'll go to bed. Anyway, I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.